Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you tilt it? You can't tilt the thing. Maybe I need the house light. Man's in his boxes. I don't care, bro. House light on. Come on. Come on. Turn off this autofocus thing, because the way I'm going to be. Oh, wait. Yeah, the way I'm going to be moving. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a sticky one still. Just put your ear in it. Let's put your ear in it. <coughs> Turn on the mics. What are we saying? What are we saying? Can man hear man? Is man all clear in that? Claps and that. Clap. Boom! Let's go. All oh, right, Everton have just signed the Corey. Mad! Literally a minute's past and Everton have signed the Corey. Yet Arsenal are yet to even announce someone that's been sitting on their wage bill for time. Just tell us, tell us Aubameyang has signed a deal. Man's all got his video loaded. I want to drop that. I know he's done it. You just, you lot just need to confirm it. Literally, I go onto the Arsenal Twitter every day. Every day, just to see if some news has dropped. All you lot have been giving me is quizzes, yeah? And telling me about people that have already signed. I know about William. I know William signed, yeah? Training pictures, seeing Lacazette move to Torreira. I've seen all this. I've seen all of this. Has anyone been on the stadium tour? I've always, they're always advertising a thing. I've actually never been on the stadium tour. Is it good? Is it worth going on? Obviously, man like Ceballos. Man like Ceballos said that he wants another year. Another year at Arsenal. I was hearing like teams like Real Betis. And he could have stayed in Spain. He could have stayed in Spain if he wanted to. But man wanted to come back to the Arsenal. His goal took us into the semis, bruv. Yeah, his goal took us to the semi-final of the FA Cup and we went on, we went on to do what we do. Yeah, we went on to claim the cup as ours once again. But at the moment, ooh, 10%. What have you got for 10%? What's 10%? No, what? I'm waiting for the blue team. Arsenal, I'm waiting for the blue bird kit. I need that. I've seen the leaks and that, you know, the little leaks that have been put out here and there and everywhere. I, I need it. As I'm looking, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like there's any other news. Gabriel trains, man like Gabriel, yeah, is finally in Arsenal colours. Man's training with the other, the other bad boy centre back. I'm hoping these two, yeah. I'm hoping that these two perform because cuz, cuz. Defence for us has just been a mazus, yeah. We just don't seem to get it right. And I'm hoping these two can sort it out, at least. Just get us into that top four, that's all we want. Like, we're actually not asking for that much. Is top four that much? I just want to go back to the Champions League. I just want to go back. Man ain't seen the Champions League for time. Yeah, I just want to see it once. Yeah, can you man just do it this year, please? There's the man, bruv. My G, yeah, I'm upper. There's our manager, Kev. <laughs> that is our manager. Yeah, but other than Tobias coming back, William, uh, Gabriel in the ranks, Seen pictures of Callum Chambers. Man said we will not cut his hair and that. He's ready for to play some football. I just don't see any any movements. I'm hearing Bellerin. They're saying Bellerin might duck out. Which will be a shame. You know what? Only if the right price comes, yeah? I would, and we replace him with a better right back. If it ain't the right money and we're trying to go into the season with that Cedric guy, just as our, our only recognisable right back, Keep, keep, keep Bellerin, bro. But it looks like we're trying to talk to Leon, yeah? And try to get that ooh, ooh, guy over the line, cuz. I ain't gonna lie, till this year, I didn't know who this kid was. I never heard of him, yeah? But obviously, man saw him against Manchester City and he played an absolute mazzers, yeah? And I was like, yeah, we need, we need him. I was like, yeah, bring him, yeah? We'll have him too, I don't mind. But whenever I've seen him, he's playing in midfield. Like, I don't, I haven't seen him in like an attacking midfield role. Like, is he, is that why we're going to bring him or we're going to sit him in midfield? Like, if that's the case, we've got bare midfielders, you know? And obviously we're talking about this, this guy, my Ghanaian brother, Thomas Bartley. Yeah, we're talking about this Don. He could be coming to Arsenal too. Another Ghanaian on the list of Ghanaians that have played for this club. We've got myself, Emmanuel Frimpong. No, I'm joking. Emmanuel Frimpong played for the club. Yeah, we had our undercover Ghanaian warrior. Yeah, Mr. Daniel Welbeck. Yeah, Daniel Mensah Welbeck. We had another one, but I don't think a lot of people thought he was going in. What was it, Quincy? Quincy Sutton. What was his last name? Yes, Quincy Awusu Adame. Definitely going in. This is another going in. Obviously, he tried to represent Holland in that, but <laughs> there's another going in in our midst, cuz. Oh, Did he actually play for Ghana? 
oh, it probably got a bit big for him. He's like, you know what, let me play for Ghana. <laughs> We've had a few Ghanaians, but I feel like this one, this one is the one that's going to make an impact, an actual impact in our Arsenal team. Listen, Emmanuel Frimpong, he did his thing, yeah? He had a few stints here and there. Saw Najee told him to shut your mouth and kept it moving. That's what I like to see. But he only played a handful of games and I'm thinking that Thomas Partley is going to come here and he's going to rip things up. I'm hungry enough. I need something to eat. So my mind just went, I'm starving. What's it? Who should I pick? Deliver or Uber Eats? Which one's better? I don't even know. It might have to be a just eating, you know? Just because of the Snoop Dogg advert. Just eat. Cheeky Tuesday on Just Eat. This is probably not coming out on Tuesday, but just to let you lot know, on Tuesday it was a cheeky 20% off. Why am I... Wait a minute. Why am I fucking hyping up like Just Eat have paid me? Hey, Just Eat. Pay me in it. <laughs> I hate this. I say I'm hungry and I'm just scrolling through just... I'm just scrolling through the thing. Let me finish this video first. <laughs> Thomas Partley could be the answer. Obviously, it looks like Torreira might be going to next clubs. Toronto? Was it Toronto? Tyoro? That club there. And then we need to replace him. And Partley, 50 million euros clause that these men want to slap on top of him and said, if, if you pay that, if you pay the 50 mil, you can have him. You might have to pay the 50 mil. <laughs> Sorry, I was scolding for a minute. This guy's a joker. Man said he's taking over troops. Troops is going to America. Troops is going to America, yeah, to do his own po podcast, yeah, with Barstool Sports. That is so sick. Do you know how mad that is? Man's going to America. These men in America said, you, yeah, you're the guy, blood. We're going to pay you peas to come to America and do your thing. I love that, but this guy, I'm laughing. Because he said he's going to take over troops. WWE star. WCW star. Ah, I'm gas. I can't wait for the season. Obviously, we've got Fulham, yeah, in our first game. Um, I might do a video before the game. I don't know. Maybe. To be honest, I'm just trying this thing out. I might carry on with it. I might not. With me, you don't know. But yeah, Fulham, man. Are we ready? Do you not feel re we're ready? I wish, I wish, I hope. I hope, yeah, we're not done in the the transfer window. This is what I hope. I hope we get partly. I hope we get that ooh -ah, ooh -ah guy, yeah? But I really want a left winger. I want a left winger. But I feel like if we do get a left winger, someone like Lacazette has to duck out. And I don't know if I'm ready to get rid of Lacazette yet. But we need a left winger, yeah? And we just need Lacazette to just be like, fam, just have the role where you come off the bench when we're in trouble and we need goals. But then have a Bamiyam up front and just have a sick... Left winger. Saka could be the guy. Saka could be that left winger. But I don't know. I don't, like, I've, I've seen him more on the right than the left. Maybe that's his position. I don't know. But I feel like we just need a like a, like a Zaha. So when we have injuries and things are just looking bare mad, you just have that extra winger to throw on. Because Reese Nelson's there. I'm kind of convinced. I'm not fully convinced yet. Got Pepe, obviously. And uh, he needs to come good this season because... He's done all right. He's done all right. Twinkle toes and all of that. But it's like, sometimes I'm just looking at you doing twinkle toes and not going anywhere. So this season, we need more, you know, more of that. I mean, Martin Lenny's probably not going to be here to the new year. So we just need a left winger, man. Zaha is perfect. 40 mil. Do you think, do you think so? <sighs> Name me some left wingers that you think that Arsenal could buy. Like, with, like, the money we have. Yeah. I'm thinking for even 40 mil might be even be too much to be going out for someone like Zaha. But we need someone like Zaha on the left. Everton's midfield is a mazes. I've just come across this tweet, bruv. I've just realised. I just clocked. At the beginning of the video, I was like, oh, they signed to Corey. Not, not, not realising. Man have signed James Rodriguez, yeah? They signed Allen as well. Their midfield's mazes. Who's in the team already? Where's the... Where did you find the players? Oh, what? I don't care about your football kit. Where's your play? Oh, this is a store. <laughs> Where's the Everton fucking site, man? I keep writing Everton, you take me to the store. No one wants to buy your kit, cuz. Where's the players? Oh, is this them? Or, I don't want to buy... Do you, does Everton not have a website? Homeware. This one? Thank you, bruv. That took me ages. What? So I see where you tried to put your shop on top so people could buy shirts. Nah, cuz, I'm not on it. Everton could be a scary club to go against, you know. Have they still got Yannick? 
Bolassi. Really? Yeah, Everton's team's looking mad. Everton's team's looking mad. With Carlos Ancelotti as manager, these man might do bitch, you know, I'm shook. You know who I'm shook of? <laughs> do you know who I am shook of? <laughs> these man, yeah, I'm talking about Everton. These lot have gone mad. That ban has helped them. It's helped them save money and they've gone crazy. Kai Havertz got Team Mo Werner. Thiago Silva. Who else did they sign? Who else did they sign? Some sad dude that they just sent on loan. They're like, oh, what? We're going to buy you now. Nah, duck, duck out, bruv. Just go, go on loans till we find you another club. Then they got Ben Chilwell. These men went crazy. I'm shook at Chelsea you now. I'm shook. I'm hoping that they've bought too much and the thing don't gel. And yeah, pe teams will just roll over them. Lampard, if you don't win silverware this year, that's your... That's gonna be your ass, Mr. Postman. That is mad. But listen, Arsenal, Arsenal, yeah, you lot just need to sign some. You don't even need to sign anyone. You need to announce, yeah, a Bamiang's contract. Just announce it. We all know it's done. And I'm probably gonna post this video and it's gonna be announced that a Bamiang has signed a new contract. But that's it. Just announce the contract. Especially, do it before for the Fulham game, please. This guy's on flipping Instagram Live with troops all kicking, yeah. Like, who does that? No, think when you think that you're gonna leave the club. Nobody, we know that you want to stay here, blood. Yeah, our kits are wavy. Yeah, you live in London. Our fans are absolute G's. You don't want to go anywhere else. Do that one first. Just announce it. Yeah, just let us know that Abamyam is here to stay. Please. But listen, I thought I'd just come in here and just talk a bit. Yeah, just get it flowing. Yeah, get, get me used to this YouTube thing because everyone's saying that I should get a YouTube. So I'm trying to, add, trying to, add. listen, if I, but if I stop, yeah. If I just stop randomly, yeah? Don't get on to me, yeah? View the ting, maybe I'll stay. <laughs> but yeah, you might see a video, you know what? I'm not gonna say you might see, it. you might, you'll definitely see a video for after the game, yeah? I promise you that. I would do a video for after the game and give my, because normally I do a team talk, yeah? Before the game, when that has happened, we're gonna see my reaction when the game's all done and dusted, yeah? Peace, uh, subscribe, like, all that rubbish, and I'll see you in a bit. If anyone's wondering, I've got one ton soup and some hot wang!